Well, hello and welcome YouTube. Brandon Robinson back here with yet another brand new and exciting video from Super Mega Baseball 2 with my San Mateo Bearcats softball season of, not of 2016, because that was a season that actually happened, but recreating that team and doing it here in 2020. I actually started this back in 2019 and then life got in the way. So uh, continuing in 2020, one game a day. And lo and behold, this is our final game of the regular season now. We are on game 26. I didn't think about this for a second here, but I had like some time to process it. And I want you guys to look at this here, okay? Our record is 19 and 6. If you look at the splash screen there, right there, 19 and 6. Entering our final... So we played 26 games in our regular season as well. At first I thought it was 27, but I guess it was only 26. Entering our final game of the regular season in actual 2016. Guess what our record was? It was 19 and 6. So if you look here on uh, max preps here for our schedule... We actually ended up, unfortunately, 19 and 7. I have brought up the infamous last game against Jefferson a couple of times, sometimes a little more subtle, once very specifically, and brought out some details. We ended up, if you see it, we ended up losing that game 7 to 6. I think we were up 6 to 2 in the last inning. I'm not going to look at all the repressed memories here, but we let them come back and just rally through and uh, win the game. Really, it was I who lost it. I'm not going to let that happen again here. We are 19 and 6. Now, here's the big goal besides just not being 19 and 7 again, and this time being 20 and 6. We got to now look. Let's go back to the game. We got to look back at the standings here. And the Overdogs, they won their last game. They are 20 and 6. So if we want to claim first place and have that coveted CCS entry, I know we're going to make playoffs in this thing, but I'm considering it to be the CCS entry as before. It's kind of scary, but we need to win. In order to be first place in this division, we need to win. We have the run differential covered. All it's needed now is just a victory. And if we can get that victory, we will claim first place in the Bay Division here, and we will be entering into CCS. It means Central Coast section. It's our version of playoffs in the thing. If you look here, once again, we're going to make playoffs because all but four teams make the playoffs. I guess I should have made a bunch more teams on this thing and just made that happen. I didn't. That's my bad. But we need to win this game. Now, there are a lot of similarities with that Jefferson game that wasn't just that here, but if we go back, Kylie is starting this game, and Kylie started that game as well, coming off the heels of a great Jody Lewis win against South City, a uh, complete game there, and it was hard to decide, I mentioned this before, if I could throw her in the uh, this Jefferson game, because she just pitched seven strong the game before, I'm not talking about this in the virtual game, I'm talking about real life. The day before, she threw seven strong in South City, and I wasn't sure how effective she'd be, and it was kind of a problem spot where I probably should have put her in that last inning. I want to right some wrongs for these ladies here. I want to grant them even a virtual victory, if not, and that taste, especially the seniors. There are eight seniors on this team, the seniors who did not get a taste of CCS. This is emotionally so. This is a very important game for me. Now, who are we playing? We're playing the 10 and 15 Blowfish, and don't let the 10 and 15... For you. I think they were 1-5 when they gave us a 6-0 team at the time, our first loss. We lost like 14-11 to 11 or something. We started to come back, it was very close, but we did lose. And then we played them again in a back-to-back -back fashion. We gave it to them, but I kept saying at the time that there were some things that went well our way that helped us. One of those things was they don't have a good bullpen. You can see right here on the screen, they don't have a good bullpen. And we took out their starting pitcher early enough that they went to their bullpen very fast. So we depleted their bullpen. And that's what helped us get a nice one last time. This team scares me. Not like the overdog scares me, but you know, they're a legitimate threat. My problem is I didn't take, I took Jefferson for granted at the time. And I mean, to this day, they still don't scare me. If we play that game 99 more times, I think we win all 99 of the rest of them. But is that one out of 100 that freaked me out? Blowfish kind of scare me, man. And what you have to consider is they have hot players. You have this, I, I don't remember all the names. I remember this guy's name at the bottom here is Marvin Steed. He is juiced and he obviously has high mojo here. This Uwanga guy, their leadoff hitter, I don't think he did a lot against me. He might have homered once, but not in a big impactful way. But look, he has a 357 average, eight home runs. Their leadoff hitter here and he's juiced. Okay. And then there's this guy, Gutterson, Gutterson. Uh, I don't remember his first name, but uh, he also has high mojo. And don't forget these two other guys, someone named Jose Carloco, who, if you remember last time, was phenomenal, and Elvis Stanley as well. And their starting pitcher, Lad Bradwick, who I, I don't know if we faced him at all. 
He has some up mojo and good velocity. 791 ERA, 1 and 2 record, that part doesn't matter to me right now. It matters how we're going to face him. So, we have it up against us to see how we're going to do. Thankfully, Rai is fully rested now. Not that the well fitness matters too much anyway. Monet caught last time. I'm going to have Rai catch this game here. But Monet is well fitness as well. It doesn't seem to have affected too much until they get lower, lower, lower stamina. But I got to write some wrongs for this game. And sorry for the longer intro here. But we got to get this one in. I got to do it for them. I have to do it for these girls. Okay. Let's... Let's get started. Okay, so when it comes to lineup here, I told myself that, well, let's see, I don't know if I told myself anything, but I'm looking at Morella starting this game in a for sure, for sure, and I'm not saying that means Julie's out, but I gotta write some hotter hitters or figure out what to do where. I wanna get Kendall in this lineup. Uh, last two times that we played, I probably have to keep Gabby in this lineup though. Last two times that we played this team, hang on a second. They, they were at, it was at their ball, uh, ballpark, that Red Rock Park. So, this one's a home game. We're going to wear our all-whites. Yeah, I'm going to get Kendall in this game here, playing left field, Taylor in center. Uh, would be nice to get Jada in this game as well, so I'll probably play her at first. Ooh, but Monet. Monet's probably going to play first base here, because Rice is going to play. So, hmm, decisions, decisions here. Oh, I just put in, hang on, what did I just do? I just did something wrong. Right, there we go. Um, only at first base, so, hmm, if Julie's then out, I guess Morella, uh, who's another, maybe Taylor plays third base in this game instead of outfield, that way you can get Jada in this game at center field. I'm liking the, I'm liking that look there. Okay, so, what are we going to figure out here? Monet is hot, hot, hot. I'm actually going to bat her in front of Raisa for this one. Uh, they're, they're actually very equal. Look at their things as I go back and forth. Now that they're in the same spots, they are pretty much equal. Monet with a little more power, so I'm just going to put her there. Top of the lineup looks set. Um, bottom of the lineup looks pretty set as well. It might help to put Jada right behind Taylor and then Kendall at the sixth spot. And now sandbag Gabby down here. And um, yeah, I think I'm liking this look here. I want to play ball. Let's see positions. All right. I like it. So now Kylie's going to be a pretty hot hitter as well. And, you know, if at some point... I'm going to have not a short leash with her, but if it's an impactful scenario where I notice that she's getting a slight bit of getting rattled, her, she has no mojo right now, but she's been a hot hitter. Um, she has no mojo right now, so if she gets a slight bit of rattle, then it's an intense moment where them scoring two runs or something is going to make a big difference. You might see me anchor. You might see me pinch hit for her. You might see a bunch of different things. I have a very rested bullpen. Extremely rested. And if some of them are still juiced, we'll have to see. Nobody's juiced in the starting lineup right here. But let's see our bullpen, because I actually didn't take a look in the starting lineup here before. Narub Awanga is leading it off, though. All right, very juice. So let's see. So I still... Oh my gosh, look at everyone who's juiced here. The rest of the starting pitching's juice. This is going to be good for the bullpen. Can't remove pitcher on first at bat. I know. I just want to see... I just want to see the bullpen. That's okay. And then Tony and Alyssa, of course, still juiced. So you'll see me put in... I'll probably put an Izzy to pinch hit at some point for Kylie. We'll see. Unless Kylie can go the distance. I'm not caring about going the distance right now. I, I care about winning this game. I care about winning this game. There's only one game here that matters. I know playoffs do, but one game that matters right now for me, emotionally, and it's this one. All right, so here we go. Kylie against Narub Owanga. Let's play ball. This guy's a good hitter here. Let's see if we can get a strong first inning under our belt. So, I'm going to start you off the outside, bud. And in the hole... Stove lane, a little less accuracy, but this guy's so juiced. He is so fast. There's no way we could have gotten that out. That was just a crying shame. I am so ah, bummed about that. Quick cutaway. I just had a phone call. Okay, so here we go. He's fast though, right? They're going to push hard. They're a good offensive team. Expect some running, so I'm going to keep throwing some form of fastball right now. Just to start it off. This guy, good hitter, just not... Oops. Oh, good, he bunted. Not in the jack scenario. Obviously, go to one here. Guy's so fast, there's no chance of getting that out. We'll let him get that. I expect this team to score. Oh, this guy is just on fire. I'm expecting this team to score. Kylie's not going to have a nine-inning shutout. It's just it's just not going to happen. You know, some, you know, lightning has to strike at some point here. Uh, but great out right there. Here's the Jose Carloco. 366 average, nine home runs, 26 RBIs. He's locked in, but he's not one of their hottest hitters right now, but he was just a stud 
against us in that game. Way to steal that strike there. It seems like every pitch really counts and matters this time. I am just very... Woo! Looks like they didn't score this inning here. So, um... I'm very... Every pitch to me really matters right now. I'm really focused on each little pitch. All right. So, Taylor, still not at that 500 average again yet. It's too bad. In fact, I took a look. She needs to go 5 for 5 here to get a 500 average. So, you know, a lot a lot right in there. All right. This guy's going to throw pretty hard here. Fastball, slider, curveball, changeup. Throws pretty hard on the fastball. And, um... Well, let's see what we can do against him. Again, I, whoops. Ah, well, there goes the 500 average. Uh, I don't know if I... Well, unless she goes six for seven. <laughs> the game goes that long. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure how I'm going to get to this guy best. I'm not sure if we faced him before, but I'm going to let him throw a few... Ooh, throw a few pitches in and get a good read on the faster speed again. Two strikeouts! Oh, boy. And this might up his mojo pretty soon here. Haven't played a game in a, you know good 20 hour bit or whatever how long it's been 24 hours so he's doing well we got the base hit from page good not gonna let him one two three us right there that's just gonna help for a little bit in the long run got to make sure that we can make this game a ever so close close game here very impactful very careful don't need to steal with page here and he throws hard enough that pitch out's gonna get her out don't need to steal if i can hit a ball in the gap two straight pitch outs in a row now i'm used to that fastball let's get it let's get it Ooh. And that's going to drop in. Let's hope it does. Still on the third. Let's try it. Not much of an arm. Little, I'm, He has a jacked arm thing. Not much of an arm. Brings her over. And Raisa, uh, time for clutch ball right here. Clearly not going to steal right now with Monet. Just need to get this runner in. Let's go ahead and contact swing now that we're down a strike. And it's in. Looks like it might have deflected off the glove. one nothing. Here we go, Bearcats. Good start. Lowers his mojo. That's important for me. Way to string together these two out hits after those first couple strikeouts. He's back to neutral. And I'm feeling a lot better about that. It's going to slow down his fastball that much. That I probably would have not struck it. There we go. I don't know if I can score here. Great arm. Let's not risk it. Eh, probably should have. In real life, I think I would have sent her. Even if Morel is coming up here in real life, I think I would have sent her home. It just... It was deep enough outfield. In real life, the momentum's not there. I kind of, once it was hit, I kind of knew that was an out. Nice hit. Could have cleared bases in the, uh, if they had a misread or something. But remember, this is a video game. And I don't think that momentum in this game really plays a big role as much as it does in real life. Meaning, if you're an outfielder on the base at center field, you should really line yourself up for that throw to home. And you want to build momentum into that throw. So you'd want to get around the ball, deep angle around the ball, come up slowly that way so you can then crow hop and fire in this game you can kind of just go straight to the ball and probably throw it home i don't really know if crow hops a big thing here so his name's keg keg gutherson good contact i don't expect much strikeout stuff here you know kylie has uh the most strikeouts on the team so far it could be a factor of number of innings pitched but she has a good strikeout per innings pitch ratio as well one of the better ones for sure Alyssa's on the top all right, Elvis Stanley. Remember, Elvis left the building probably three times in those two games before. Kylie's given up, I think, four home runs on the year. I took a look. Four home runs on the year. Uh, the least of the starters. I think McHugh was the next closest. Uh, good. Kylie's doing it to him here. I said she wouldn't shut out. <laughs> Throw a nine-inning shutout. I don't know anymore. This is Kylie Gallia, after all. She's 5-0 and on me. Uh, I think 5-0. I don't think 6-0. 5-0 oh here. You know, looking to go the distance, really. Uh, and she's going to come up to bat in this scenario here. I might bunt her if Gabby gets on. We'll see. Gabby's been hot. Four home runs the last two games. You know, I can't expect that pace again. I can't expect two more home runs. But you ride the hot hand because she has the opportunity to make it so. And I want... Uh, I'm just kidding. She has the ability to do her so. And I want to grant her that opportunity to exactly try that. That's why you'll mostly see me power swing with her. If she strikes out... I'm not saying it's a big deal, not a big deal, whatever. But I'm willing... To let that possibility strike out happen, like, ugh, I should, like, right, I shouldn't have swung. Contact swing, I probably wouldn't have. I'm willing to power swing for high reward at the risk of possibly striking her out. That's what playing her as the hot hand is going to help me do, you know. And does Kylie drop one in? Not quite. Even though it looks like her mojo raised after that one, two, three inning. That was good. Back to the top of the order here. We had two out thunder last time. You never, you never get two outs and say, your inning is over. Especially when you have Taylor to come to bat here but last time Paige, Monet, Raisa, Kendall all combined there to get their hits. No Kendall, 
Well, yeah, Kendall got on. I don't remember if she drove in a run. She might have just gotten on. Now, I, suddenly, I can't remember. I think Kendall drove in. I don't know. Anyway, I probably didn't swing at a good pitch there for Jada. I'm just glad they didn't strike out that time. Pitcher has three strikeouts against us in two innings. A little different here. Uh, Kylie is holding it down, though. We do have five hits in those two innings. They only have one. Don't even remember the hit anymore. Ooh. Ugh. Too much, too much, too much plate. That's too much plate. And Kylie giving up her fifth home run of the year. Too much plate on the changeup. I threw it to... Look, it was an eight hitter. I'm not going to say I sandbagged him. I even threw, I even threw backwards to him. But when you give someone too much plate who can hit, there it is. And, uh, well, no one for the pitcher to bunt over here now, though. So, oh, great contact. This is a great hitting pitcher. And with the mojo back up, you can expect him to get his hits here. So, don't take him for granted. Just, you know, don't expect a home run out of him. Oh, here we go! Foul ball. Kendall with the range. Yeah, I'm missing a couple spots here. A little bit of jitters now. You know, 1-1 one, one score. I'm feeling it a little bit more. Not expecting a strikeout against this pitcher again. There aren't too many pitchers that I face that are good hitters. And not that he's a powerful hitter, but he's a good hitter. And I'm not facing that too much. Whereas they always have to face my pitchers as good hitters here. Uh, I don't know if Emily's the best hitter, but once they get their mojo up, it's kind of hard for them to not be successful. That's the point. Emily hit a home run when she just pitched uh, last. So... Those kinds of things happen, and I just walked Nirub. How can I possibly let that happen? Well, he does have eight home runs on the year. Probably better than a home run. But you know what? A walk might as well be a double sometimes with these leadoff hitters because of how fast they are if they steal. That being said, there we go. Three, six, one. Double play. Got it taken care of. Way to get out of the inning. Not unscathed, but I got out of the inning there. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanted to talk about from the previous game at all. Uh, I remember there was one scenario, and I, I probably kind of want to wait for it to arise again, but, you know, there was there was one play. Oh, two for two, Paige Stovlin, trying to get her MVP honors before anybody else here. Not a great arm in center. Can we get to third? Yes. And there's the triple starting us off here. Monet and Raisa, very good ability to hit it out of this infield. I'm not willing to risk it see their infields in i'm not willing to risk it to just go home on any old ground ball right now we have a lot of good hitters right after this that can take care of it even if monet doesn't rice after that can 2-0 there we go deep fly she's gonna tag up and we are gonna have a 2-1 lead unless she trips which does not happen in this game i don't think but because they're so <laughs> they might as well throw it home right no one else to advance um you know, there was, there was one scenario in the last game, if you remember when I think Paige was at shortstop, ground ball goes to her, and their runner goes to third, and uh, so I ended up throwing to third, and I underthrew it, and it ended up being, they didn't give her an error, there we go, Raisa, uh, they didn't give her an error, but it should have been, because when the runner advanced to home, it should have been an error. Uh, on the throw at the time for the runner to get to third, it shouldn't have been an error. And if you need to go back and watch that play, you can. I'll even give you the timestamp here in the video of when it is. And I explain either what it should have been or why it should have been an error at the time. Until the runner advanced. Anyway, the point I wanted to make with this one was, you know, sometimes teams risk it, you know, advancing a next bag or whatever. But the AI made a, uh, not a mistake. Look, it obviously paid off for them. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. And it paid off for them because of the throwing error. But if I threw it on target, they would have been dead to rights. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do as a base runner on second base, not forced in less than two outs. Basically, this scenario that we're at right now, but... Oh, oh it curved the other... Oh, wait, it still might! Oh, that one I thought had a lot more hope for Morella than the last one. Do you see it kind of tail back to center field? Sometimes she luckily hits a ball that curves, you know, to right center or something like that instead. And that one didn't happen. Anyway, so the thing I was saying. So you have a runner on second and no outs. Um, not on first, just runner on second. If you have a ground ball, who hot hitter. If you have a ground ball hit in front of you, as the runner on second, ground ball hit in front of you, it is ill-advised at the time. Whoa, don't carry over. Oh, boy, that thing just had so much backspin to it. That thing stayed up and up and would not die down. Marvin Steed, man. One of the hot ones, and it's back to 2-2. Two -two. This is a game. This is a game. Kylie's given up to half of the amount she's given up. Well, you know, 50% of her... Home, eh, I don't know how to say it. She's given up as many as half of the home runs she's given up all year. 
I just wanted to say now it's not half the amount of home runs. Now it's a third amount of home runs. That ball stays in the yard. All right, so again, uh, run around second, ball hit in front of you. You shouldn't be advancing to third at the time of contact. Now you have to judge, ugh, you have to judge something for yourself at the time of contact. And remember, I said when the ball's hit in front of you. It's not when the ball's hit in front of you at the time of contact, is if you start running, you know, if you did hypothetically start bolting to third, and this is a simulation, we're going to first, going to one, oh, ah, screwed up. I started to look at the runner to see if they were going to first, and I let up, and that was so stupid. Do not let that cost me. It wasn't a shadow game problem. It was just me looking at the screen in a different way and thought that I could let go of the stick. And no, that might cost me. Here we go. Hey, I might have overdove, but you know what? Whew. I said, don't let it cost me. So I said, I'm just going to dive, man. I'm just going to dive. I can get them runs back. Will they steal? Two outs here? Will they steal? They might steal here. You got you to be heads up right now, guys. They might steal. Um... So, yeah, so, simulate in your head, and you have so little time, I can't, can't walk in here, you have, you have so little time to simulate this thing, this is, this is one of those internal clock simulation bubble laws, okay, now runner's gonna go, but that's on his own, it's full count, two out, ooh, ball four, he swung, runner's gonna go again, Kylie's throwing a few pitches, let me first get out of this inning, or out of this at bat, then I'll tell you what I'm talking about, oh boy, will he go to third, no sir, cut it off, cut it off, all right, they still have some hitters up here. This is now their eight hitter who did homer. Uh, doesn't bat much here, but has a 400 batting average on in the year. That was his first home run in the season. To expect the eight hitter there, well, come on, to expect the eight hitter there to homer with no home runs, and I throw him a changeup on the first pitch, even if I didn't fool him. That's an opposite field. I don't expect that to happen. Anyway, so you as a runner, say that the ball's hit in front, like it is hit in front of you. But if you started sprinting toward third, the question is when the ball passes, you know, you, is it going to be in front of you? Because if you can get run so far ahead that the ball's actually behind you at that point, then that's considered ball behind you, not ball in front of you. So like, let's say that, um, hypothetically, ground ball's hit. Ah, why am I swinging at that? Same, same thing twice. Keep swinging that inside pitch thinking, my thing is just make it there and I'll just foul it off. That was my thought because I already started just thrusting that way. Cali back at normal mojo. Power swing. All right, contact. Um, so, you know, let's say that the ball, like a ground ball's hit and if you didn't move at all from your leadoff, that you stood still. Say you stood still and that ground ball went two feet in front of you as a run past. I guess you could say that's a ground ball in front of you. However, if when that ball was hit and that ball would have gone two feet in front of you, but you ran to third instead, that's not a ground ball in front of you before. Now now that's a ground ball behind you. So anyway, runner on second, less than two outs, a ground ball in front of you, and by that I mean if you start running and it's still in front of you, you shouldn't go. And you gotta measure that for yourself. You know, come off a step, two steps, whatever, decide. Don't get too far off, especially if it's hit to shortstop, which ideally is where it would go if you're trying to make that decision, because you're like, do I go? It's at the shortstop area. If the ground ball stays in front of you, you shouldn't be going. Now, do you go after the throw? That's a decision you want to make. In baseball, no, 90 feet's far too long. They throw way too hard. Their reaction and pop time stuff's way too good. In softball, it happens at times. And too many runners think in their head, we always should do it. <laughs> a sideways leap. Um, too many runners really think they should do it when really they probably shouldn't. Uh, you know, they think it's like an automatic and it's not. Just like when you bunt, there are a lot of times in softball with runner on first when you bunt, they really try and get all the way around. This Narub guy's got him base three times so far. Two for two with a walk. Expect him to steal at some point, but Raisa man's got the arms to one pitch out. Whoops, not quite a pitch out, but... Um, you know, uh, on a bunt with a runner on first, sometimes that runner goes all the way past second and to third, thinking like, oh man, this is auto uh, automatic, we can do it. Maybe if someone's not covering, <laughs> but uh, no, man, they, they, they prep for that these days. All right, Marvin. What do you got, bud? What do you got? I got Kylie. I got Kylie. Do you call? Do you raise? Or do you fold? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Change up off the plate to me. He raised. He raised. And it is four to two. Almost robbed that. I don't think I had a chance to. But almost robbed it. We are now down. Here we go, top of the fifth inning. 
Kylie, uh, you know, this is probably Kylie's last, not Kylie's last inning, but if Kylie's spot comes up to bat again, ooh, up to her mojo again. If her spot comes back up to, again, uh, up to bat again, and I need, you know, she's 0 for 2, 2 flyouts. I might got a pinch hitter. I got a bullpen. I got juiced bullpen, in fact. Um, so, yeah, so runner in second. If the ball's hit behind you, meaning when you run, at, at the time of contact, if you run, you can let go behind you, it's normally, you're normally protected in the sense that you'll probably make it to third. You'll probably make it to third, and as a defense, it's not smart to probably be thrown to third, because they'll probably make it. It's, it's not an exact science. It's not at all an exact science. It's a generalized case that you go by, and it seems to pay off the right way, depending on what you do. If the ball's hit in front of you, and you decide to go, you're probably going to be out at third if they throw it. But if the ball's behind you, and you go, you're probably going to make it. They probably can't throw it. So on that play, <laughs> as we go back to it, here we go, Paige, two for two, let's go three for three. Ah, nice hit. So on that play, they ran and the ball was in front of them. It was a hair in front of them, but it was in front of them. That's why I decided to throw in third. And guess what? They would have been dead to rights. I decided to throw to third. Now, I had a throwing error. Maybe I rushed myself. You actually even see it. I start to throw to first and then beat it out. And then I redirect. I say, oh, no, right. Let's go to third. And I think that just let me kind of, you know, mess up there. Two out Thunder Raisa. Can we tie it up? No. Okay. I was hoping for maybe one of those fielding errors by the pitcher. That happens at times. All right, Kylie, here we go. Let's get the six inning strong. We can come back after that. But their starting pitcher's doing pretty well so far. Uh, not quite the equivalent of the Jefferson game because we led that entire game till the bottom of the seventh. Now, we're also the home team. Bottom of the seventh is the last inning in softball terms. Uh, now, we're also the home teams. That's that's good stuff as well. See, I don't mind missing bad on the, uh, like, off the plate. For oh, no! Here we go! 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 Oh! Oh! Nearly! Nearly getting that thing. Elvis Stanley has left the building again. Nearly robbing it. It's probably out of reach, it looks like. It looks like the home run signal comes before the chance of even the ball getting to the glove. That must mean it's over the fence enough. I don't know. Have we robbed a home run before? Another team robbed Dulce before. Long time ago. I think third or fourth game of the year. All right. So Kylie, man, giving up three or four home runs in this game, right? I think four home runs or so. Man, that is... That's that's unlike Kylie to do that. So, probably her last inning here. Um, you know, she's, she's thrown 50 pitches. That's not high. But, you know, the more she goes... Once, I, I've kind of read this game as like the 60 mark. Once you're hitting 60, you want to start looking at how things are doing. Because it can start... Your, your ratings do start to diminish whether or not you have high mojo. Probably around that time. I'm not so sure, but that seems to be the case. Oh, good. I lowered his mojo. That's good. So, Kylie's going to get up to bat in this inning if we don't just go the minimum 1-2-3 here. So, I'll pinch hit for her, and I'll likely pinch hit Izzy. I'll likely pinch hit Izzy in that scenario. Uh, Julia's still on the bench. Good pinch hitting spot there. Still have Callista. You know, she can also run. I'm probably waiting for her to run somewhere. Because, you know, I wouldn't say Dulce or Paige Otis are the runners out there. Um, who's the other one on the bench? Jaro. And Jaro. Good, good raw power somewhere. But I want to get Izzy in one of these spots. I'm probably not going to pitch Izzy if it's no one on and, you know, two out. You know what I mean? Something where she can still do damage. And that was a good start there by Kendall. That means likely I can get tying run at the plate at some point this half inning. That's when I'll bat Izzy for sure. And their pitcher, same kind of thing. 65 pitches. You can see that he can't last too long effectively now. Can one Morella ball drop in? It sure can. It's going to the wall. Kendall's going to score. Morella stay on two. Here we go. Tying run is now at the plate in Gabby Morgan. And this is probably the last that battle have with her as far as trying things with her. I, I swung at bad pitches, but lowering mojo for this pitcher. Here we go. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, good. They called it foul ball as an out of play. He hung it, and I just got under it and missed it. Just missed that spot. So if Gabby hits a ground ball in front of Morella here, you won't see me go. But if it's hit, like, right at her... I'll start going because then she'll be behind the ball. And then it's it's advised for me to go to third. And it's likely, likely she'll make it. Ground ball to third is obviously in front. You don't go until after the throw goes to first. And even then, you probably don't. Will that drop in? I don't think so. All right, Izzy. I'm pinch hitting Izzy here in the spot. Kylie, not the greatest game. Uh, you, you kept us in it, whatever. But a lot of home runs, kid. Uh, it's just it's it just didn't it just didn't work this time. 
Izzy, you are locked in and juice. You are pinch hitting, my brusky. And look at all these guys. They're all juice too. I'm just looking at power and contact. That's all you got to look at and look at Izzy right here. This is the spot because it's also not two outs and such too. If she gets on for a base hit, I can steal. And Taylor, you know, stuff like that. She has great speed right now when she's juiced too. Izzy's probably not going to pitch. She's going to start the first playoff game. She's probably not going to pitch. Of Tony, who's juiced all that stuff. And Bob, obviously, Bob's always a good guy to go with. Here we go. Get down. All right. Good, Izzy. Now, I'm not going to second with Izzy. Even on throw to home right now, because she can steal the second. Now, I'm going first pitch. Here we go. I don't even care what they can do here. I'm going first pitch with Izzy. Let's get her over so Taylor has as good of a count. Here we go. All right, Izzy. As So I said as good of a count possible. I know it's 0-1 on Taylor right now. But if I get too deep, if it's 0-1 and then I steal and then I take it out, it's 0-2. So as good of a count early right now, Taylor can tie it up with one swing. What do you got, Tay? What do you got, kid? Here we go. And they should throw to Taylor here. Um, get! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't start running. I thought they were going to freeze, and you saw my runner on third freeze, and I just looked at her, and I thought I could freeze and wait. Izzy just kept running. I didn't know that she'd keep running there. I should have just retreated immediately. I was thinking they'll base hit, we tie it. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm not going to pitch Izzy, though, here, like I said. It's, I mean, you know, should I? I don't know. It's just that she's going to pitch that next game. Look, I have guys who can throw right now. I'm going to throw Tony right now. Just, you know, bring in the power. Let's do it. Um... Izzy did what she was supposed to, and she got a run. She didn't get a run in. She didn't get a run in. Okay, here we go. Tony, a very hard thrower. Look at his velocity here. They're pinch hitting. Harry Backman. <laughs> I remember him. And uh, good power, but I, I want to break his bat. I think Super Mega Baseball 3, he anticipated that fastball inside. Interesting. Um, I think Super Mega Baseball 3 is going to have broken bats. Don't know how often they are. I don't know if that means all the hits are always weak. Barry Bonds once hit a home run on a broken bat. He's not the only player to do it. He, uh, it was in Florida, in uh, Miami, against the Marlins, old pro player stadium. It's now ca called, what, Hard Rock Stadium for the Dolphins. Uh, he had a broken bat home run over the right field fence. Now, how does a bat break in baseball for wooden bat? Uh, sometimes, if you hit it off the handle of the bat. Sometimes, if you hit it off the end of the bat. It's just the way you splint the wood. But sometimes, once in a blue moon... And, and I'm going to have you guys take a look at this next time baseball actually... I'm going to strike him out. Right here, swinging. Boom! Oh, we anticipated it. You ain't going to third. All right, well, as juiced as Tony is, you know, they're, they're getting to him a little bit. We got the one, two, three hitters here. So, three hitter now. Two homers on the day. I'd love a double play. This guy is... Oh, my God. Look at Marvin's stuff. Oh, man. I'm talking about the broken bat in a second. What can I do here? All right. Got him to lift it. Now, not much of an arm on Kendall here. I think I might have said Kendall's in right field. She's in left field. Um, uh, when Gabby went and dove over thing, I might have called her Kendall for a second. 0 for 3 on Carloco. Interesting. He wasn't always the hottest hitter here, but he did damage against me. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Can we neutralize them? Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Try it again. All right, Tony. Let's screwball. I haven't thrown one screwball yet. Ah. Here we go. Go after him. Yeah, on the edge. Here we go, Kendall. Here we go, Kendall. Here we go, Kendall. Oh. Fast runner. Fast runner it was. All right, Tony. Let's get it, man. You're now back to neutral here. Juice, but neutral. Here we go, Paige. To two. All right. Whew. There we go. Mindy Marshwater coming into pitch. I can get to her. Down by three runs, not a problem. I can get to her here. Two, three, four, not a problem. Let's go, Jada. I need you as a base runner right now, kid. All right, how else can you break a bat? There's a soft spot in wood. And the soft spot, I don't know if it's just the way that it's carved and grained and buffed and all that stuff. They either find the soft spots and they print the labels on them, or when they print the labels on the bats, it becomes soft. I think they generally find the soft spot. I think it has something to do with, you'll see the texture on grain and stuff, and they find the spots where it's softest, and that's where they put the labels. And when the labels and dents and stuff stay stuff, um, um, it stays, what am I trying to say, soft as well. All right, look at Jose Carloco. Notice, Jose is not a good defender. He never was. The, the white is where he originally is with speed, fielding, and arm. So now they, with the lead, are going for Alfonso Delgado, so no problem with facing Jose anymore, but Alfonso, all right, good, good defender. He's a first baseman, you know, whatever. 
Uh, anyway, so there's a chance that, you know, if you hit the ball... Ooh, lefty. All right, Jada! Beautiful. If you hit the ball on the on the label, or on the other side, on the opposite other side of the label, label, say the label's here, the other side is right there, not this way. If you hit it on the label, even if you square it up, you still have a chance to break your bat. It's minimalized, but that's the softest part of the bat. If you square a ball up, it has a chance to break it. So, don't want to steal now. 2 will count. 3-0. I'm going to take, even if it's down the middle. All right, Paige. Tying run at the plate in Monet. And then Raisa. Let's stay out of the double play, though. And let's get her rocking. Whew. Now, Barry Bonds hit a ball on the barrel. But he hit it on the label. You, you just have to assume it was on the label. You often don't hit it on the la uh, break a bat when it wasn't on the label. Get back, get back, get back. Um, So he hit a home run. You know, he hit a home run, he hit it on the label. That's why, and and here's what I was going to say before I bath race it, then I'll stop this thing. That's why sometimes when you see a batter, and I don't have a bat right here, but, but let's say this is my bat, this remote control. And let's say this is a label right here, okay? Now, when you hit... When you make contact on a ball, generally it's with what's called palm up, palm down hitting. That means when you make contact, one palm is up in the air, one palm is down to the ground on contact. So, if you want to hit it, here's, here's palm up and palm down. If you want to make sure you don't hit it on the label, you want your label to be facing either palm up or palm down, like the label of the bat. You want it to be facing palm up or palm down when we make contact. That way you don't hit it on the label or on the other side of the label. That way you hit it on the hard part right here. So that's why sometimes when you, you like between pitches, if you they have a close up to the batter and you see them like go like, and they're getting like a sigh of relief and they're like measuring stuff up, whatever. Sometimes you think that like they're collecting themselves. Maybe. What they're really sometimes doing is they're rotating their bat to make sure they're not going on the label. I, and I would do the same thing. So what do I do? If I go like this, sorry, if I go like this, it's a problem. That means when I go and make contact, gonna hit it on the label. So what I wanna do is I wanna find the label and I want to rotate it so that it's on the side like that. So I'm looking that up and then I'm ready to go. So now when I hit it, labels up, it's not here. And that's, it's, it's just a small thing I want you to know about. That's for wood bat stuff. You always want to do that. Aluminum bat, or the, sorry, composite bats, these carbon bats and all that stuff. It's not label, no label. You want to rotate that bat as much as, as, as much as you can. You don't want to hit it in one spot. You want to keep getting quarter turns of that bat and hit it evenly and work that wall. There's an outer wall and an inner wall and all this. I don't want to get into technology, but it's not the same as wooden bats at all. So, all right, Raisa, here we go. What can we do? We don't have to tie it up right here, but we do got to stay out of that double play. Cause then we get the bottom half of our order with only six outs to spare. Thank you for calling that pitch a ball. I was almost thinking about stealing. I'll tell you what, 2-0 count. Here we go. Ah! All right, get down, split, split, split. Split! All right! All right! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Yes! Down by one! All right, Raisa! Way to come through, kid, on that 2-0 fastball. Way to inside out it and get it to work. Kendall, let's keep it going. Two hits on the day. Can we get up to about a 300 average? We'll see. This pitcher is rattled. Remember, they don't... I forgot about... I, I said it in the beginning of the game, but I forgot it. They don't have a great bullpen. Oh, here we go. And let's get Kendall to second. That's okay. Let's get Kendall to second. All right. Same. You know what? This is better. Let me step out. This is better than it could have been. Think about it. Instead, if they just if pitcher just throws to first and gets Kendall out, obviously maybe Raisa could have gotten the third. But if she's still on second, Kendall's a faster runner. So instead of two outs and Raisa on second, two outs and Kendall on second. Here we go. I if Morelli gets base hit, I might. Might send him home. Gabby Morgan on deck. Probably pinch hit her. We'll see. Probably for uh, Julia. Oh! Oh, right down the middle. And I was getting, I was thinking a little too much. All right, here we go. Ah, that wasn't right down the middle. I was saying it's going to be right down the middle again. Hey! And their better defensive replacement missed the ball. What are the odds of that? Their better defensive replacement missed the ball. Oh, my goodness. All right, Julia... Let's get you pinch hitting for Gabby here. And yeah, I want the I want to tie the game right now. Oh, they're they're looking pretty even, but I just know with Gabby, I'll just try and swing power. And I let's yeah, let's go Julia here. I'm gonna get kind of a stronger defense out there now with um Ooh, let's see. Let's go Taylor in the outfield now. Jaden Taylor. There we go. I want Taylor in center this time. 
and Julia back at third. All right, Julia, here we go. Two outs. Let's get that base hit. Let's tie that game up, kid. I don't know if they're intentionally walking her. I'm not sure. Okay, they're not. I was thinking, are they? Because Tony's on deck, and I can pinch hit anyone under the sun that I want to. Here we go. Julia! Oh! Hui! Ah! Now, we only got in that scenario because the first baseman missed the ball in that one. So, you know what? It was a gift that we just we went for. All right. Tony, still juiced. We have six, seven, eight. They're all good hitters here. I'm going to keep Tony in until one more batter reaches or homers, which you knock on wood, they don't. I'm going to keep Tony in for that. And then Bob would come in to be nasty. And then I got Alyssa still to go for. So, just kind of keeping it strong as long as I can because here's the main reason. I want Tony to bat. Oh, no. Okay. Because I want Tony to bat to start off that next half inning. That's my thought. So I don't want to pull him right now if I don't have to. We're still in the bottom of the order. What I said is just BS hit now. Maybe Alyssa. Maybe maybe I'd put an Alyssa there in that scenario. Who is this guy? Did he Homer? Is the guy? Randy Man? Yeah, he did. Randy Man. I am a Randy Man. Uh, boy. I still want Tony. But maybe I'll get Alyssa to bat here. So I'm going to put in Bob. I can even, no, I'm not going to double switch now that she just came in. I'm going to put in Bob to pitch. Now I'm just going to pinch in Alyssa, and she's just going to she's going to start pitching after that. Just might as well get Alyssa in this game. Alyssa's only thrown about 11 or so innings this this whole season, so. Ah, I threw, I gave him too much plate. That was my bad. I didn't even try and work off the plate like Bob does. You know, those throws, I talk about throwing through the cut and stuff. You don't want to short hop your, your person at all either, and that's... Rod fourth, pinch hitting, good contact, good speed. Not a good chance of a double play. They're putting in another pitcher here after this, of course. But, again, not a great bullpen, so we'll see how things go. Probably not a double play here, but top of the order on deck. So, if I can get a double play, I, I mean, I'm going to go for that double play. If I can get it, I'll try to. Here we go, ball three. Here we go, Bob. Whew. All right. Work it. Work it, Bob. Work it, Bob. Come on, Tay. Whew. All right, top of the order. Nirub, what has he got? He is, what, two for two, three for three? Three for three, three singles and a walk. Hottest hitter on the planet. What do you got, Bob? Great spot. Woo, almost fair. Great spot. My palms are sweaty. Yes. All right. Come on, Bobby. Off the plate, just a hair. Ah, too much. All right, you don't have to throw to him. All right, all right, you don't have to throw to him. Not say these. Guys, why are you still throwing a bat? Bob's head was still down. Like, <laughs> and a good thing they cut away. So if they cut away, then there's no assumption that he uh, got nailed. If you don't see it, it didn't happen, right? So there we go. I was happy walking him. A different kind of open base because the open base was on third. You know. All right, they're pulling out on the stop, all the stops now. They're putting in Hooper, Julio, Julio Hooper, Julio Hooper. They're putting in Julio Hooper now. Uh, it's still not a great closer, though, you know, but is their best reliever, I'm sure. They've put in starters in the past, and they don't have playoff. They do have playoff implications. I forgot. They're probably a playoff team. Only four teams aren't making the playoffs. Out of, like, 20, so 16 teams making the playoffs. I bet they're going to make it out of, even out of five and something record, whatever it is. All right, so Bob, Tony, or not Tony's going to bat for you. I'm probably going to bat Alyssa. Well, ah, I don't have to bat Alyssa. Look we'll at Jaro. Let's get Jaro in this game right now. This is a good. Where else would I put her to bat? Maybe for Kendall. Um, but it just it doesn't, it's not the Kendall's, not Kendall's three for four, I think. But um, uh, different, different semblance of what she can do out here. Jaro with a little better arm and more power. So, yeah, hey, I'm looking to tie the game. Not necessarily on one swing, but this is where I'm going to power swing somebody. Let's do it with Jaro here. And I don't mind seeing where Alyssa was at with it. <laughs> Alyssa with not much more power, con uh, not much more power than Jaro, but more contact. Probably not more speed, though. All right, so here we go. Jaro in that top of the order with some speed. Julio is pitching. Not that fast. Oh, here we go. Good start, Jaro. Way to beat, kid. We need that one run. I'm really thinking of stealing. I want to see the speed on Jaro for this. Catcher arm, eh, okay. Great speed on Jaro. Already lowered his stuff. 
You know what? Let's just risk it right now. Uh, Taylor can then be a leadoff hitter this next thing. It's not the bottom of the ninth right now. Let's just, let's, let's, let's go for the tie right now on this pitch. If it's a good pitch too. Nope, not a great pitch. Joe! Oh, so close, kid. So close. I'd almost button with Taylor if I knew it could guarantee me a, um, like, moving Jaro over. You know, I really want to get that tie right now. I know they have four, five, six, no, three, ah, three, four, five coming up here, but this isn't what I wanted right here. Did not want that. Probably didn't swing at a great pitch there. <sighs> All right, so, uh, let's see here. Jada Walker. All right, Jada, do it, kiddo. I'm going to take that strike easily. I'm going to take that ball easily. Ooh, I stole there. She's going to advance. You know, this game, again, I don't think this game has wild pitches, but if a ball goes in the dirt on a steal, it's not like suddenly it's going to warp back into the catcher's glove, so I'm sure that one has to, catcher has to pop up and do something with it, so you probably guarantee yourself making it there. Yeah, oh, it was a good pitch to hit, just Jada didn't hit the right way. All right, Paige Stovland, who else do you want here? Triple single walk, 574 average. Just got to tie it. Contact swing right now. Don't want to play from behind. Going into the ninth inning. Here we go. They're guarding the lines, it looks like. Whew. Remember all that foul ground in that Colonial Park? Colonial Plaza? Yeah, infield guard lines. Here we go, Paige! All right, kiddo! And it's a tie ball game. Bringing down the mojo of Mr. Hooper. Way to be clutch, kiddo. This is exciting. Join a heater. Okay, she throws harder out of the bullpen. She's strained. That's why they didn't want to throw her yet. And it makes sense. They want to try and pull out all the stops they can with a little more speed. A lot more than now Hooper after giving up those couple hits. It lowered his stuff. And she has pressure on her here. No more pressure on me, so to speak. Uh, I do feel like I want to... I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to run Paige. Now, what I'm looking at is is, is this. I'm, I'm looking at worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, she gets thrown out. Then I start the ninth inning. And whatever happens to them, now the next half inning, Monet leads off. At least I give her another opportunity to lead off and homer, do whatever. She's still on fire. She's still a successful hitter. I don't want to, you know, get a base hit here and luck on just two hits to score Paige. I want to be able to score her on one hit here if I can, and I'll run her. Now, if Monet gets on, I'll probably run for her. You know, I still have Callista on the bench and stuff like that. You know, I, I'll probably just run for her and then figure things out because at that point, I don't want... You know, I I think that'll just be the right scenario. So I'm going to steal Paige. I don't know, first pitch. I don't know. But I'm going to steal Paige here. Worst case scenario, she gets out. Best case scenario, she makes it, you know? So here we go. And I, I you know, I probably could have swung with Monet there as well. But I want to work it now. Here we go. Two out. Ah, yeah, I don't know why I swung. Oh, boy. And uh, none of that matters now anyway. All that talk. All right, Jepson, come on in, kid. Now, Jaro... I might leave in the game and I might take out Jada. Well, Alyssa's still a good hitter, you know. But Jaro's the hotter hitter, so let's do a double switch. So Jada, uh, Alyssa coming in the game for Jada. And then Jaro's going to go to right field. Now, do I want Jaro in right field or Moreau? <laughs> look at her stuff now. She's so... Ju I love the juice players, but look, it's juiced on juiced. If this isn't the Bonds Gagne matchup, I do not know what is. He's anticipated inside fastballs before. Let's start him off speed. Unconventional and a juice versus juiced and just, you know, battle of the, you know, unstoppable force versus immovable object, right? That's exactly what this thing is right here. Got to mix it up a little bit. One more fastball in a row. All right, here we go in the park. Here we go. And one out. Not a problem. Didn't even break a sweat. Here's where it didn't pay off for them with Alfonso Delgado, even though he was a better... It was so strange, they made the right move putting in the better defender, and when it mattered... Ooh, 104! And when it mattered, the better defender did not defend. And it wasn't like scooping a ball, it was a routine. It wasn't like it was a bang bang play, it was a routine ground out. Oh man, I fooled him badly. There's no way he's gonna get this one. He might foul it off, but... Oh, and they painted the corner! Two outs, Jepson. All right, Gooderson. Here we go. Here we go. It's for CCS, baby. Work hard, Alyssa. You might have to work another half inning after this. We'll see, or another full inning after this. Whatever. The tenth inning. We'll see. All right. Bottom of the ninth. Six-six score. Five-six-seven. Here we go. 
Raisa leading off for me. Two doubles. I might run for Raisa. Depends on how hot she is. She's a she's a medium speed runner now with that on fire mo uh, on fire mojo right now. Rice has been known to Homer. What can we do? Bearcats, what do you got, guys? Whoo! Right down the middle. I'll probably just keep her in the game here. She's my catcher right now, you know? I know that Monet's still there as well. Hmm. Let's compare speeds. Speed speed matters. I need one run. Rice is about the same as POTUS, and Dulce right now is just too tense for her right now. Callista, more speed. Doesn't play an infield position. I'd have to do a lot of swapping to make that work now that I pulled out Jada. I don't know if I can get another first baseman that I want. I guess Julia and then Taylor back there, but uh, Taylor in the outfield looks good right now, so I don't think I can. I don't think I can do this. If there was a DP and she's designated a player in that stuff, maybe I could. And this might cost me, or I might I might not be able to advance another bag or something like that. But uh, here we go. I might bunt. Let's get the sack. Let's get the sack. All right, Kendall. Woo! All right, here we go. Here we go. Morella, what do you got, kid? Let's end this, Bearcats. Let's go CCS. For They're going to walk her? All right. It's, it's the smartest play in the book. Her run doesn't matter. They want force outs. Julia up. You know, she, she hits a hard, so good chance of a double play. It's possible. So, I get it. I would have done the same thing if I thought about it, and I, I would have thought about it. I would have done that. So, right scenario. Now, Alyssa's on deck. Uh, no, not Alyssa. Jaro's on deck. So, here we go, Jules. Let's do it, kid. Let's do it. Ball two. What do I do? Swing! What is this? Get back, get back, get back. Oh! Julia! Gets it done! And we win! CCS! We're going through! We're going through 6-9! Bearcats win the game! Oh, I'm so excited for these ladies! Finally! I couldn't get him into CCS that one time. It's just it's stupid. This is stupid. It's a virtual game. But this means so much to me. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to get this happen. It was so strange, it was the same record and everything else, and I feel so bad that I couldn't do it for them the first time. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, I screwed it up for you the first time. <laughs> now you're gonna get a slice. At least the seniors will, the freshmen got to move on, but at least you're gonna get a slice of what it looks like to go to the CCS. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't give it to you last time, but we're gonna go this time, virtually. Uh, Julia coming through. That a baby. It's stupid that I'm crying, but listen, it's not. I'm not crying because of this game. I'm crying because of 2016. Uh, painful. Good, good God. Julia, way to come through. What an intense ball game. Oh, uh, Alyssa, way to dominate that ninth inning there. Way to get on, guys. Oh man, I didn't know that ball was gonna go out. I was thinking sack fly and all that stuff, and it just kept carrying and carrying. And Sakura Hills has just a short enough porch. A lot of ballparks that might not go out of. Might go off the wall. They might catch it. And I was thinking, do I tag up? What do I do? I didn't want to get doubled off. I wanted to win there. And it happened. Okay. Bot line score. Seesaw, seesaw battle here. Went up 1-0 early. They tied it. Went up 2-1. They tied it. And then they pulled ahead. They pulled ahead and they got up to 6-3. Now we had to claw back little by little. I think someone for us hit a, uh, I think it was, I think Raisa maybe hit an RBI single in the sixth inning there. Seventh inning after they scored, we scored another couple. I think, I don't know who it was, Morella. Morella drove someone in, I don't know. And then Julia three run shot there. Eight, eighth inning we scored around, I can't remember it now. Sorry, let's 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 look at this stuff here. And their top of the order did it, man. They, they played, they played it. As I thought they would, except for Carloco. Their top of the order played as I thought they would. Uwanga and Steed really took care of things. Uwanga didn't not reach base. Five for five in the on base percentage department. Three singles and two walks. Steed, his only two hits mattered. Both home runs. 
And then Elvis Stanley, of course, it was only one hit for his, but of course, I said, you, you can't, you gotta be careful with him too. You know what he did. And man, just sneakily, his first home run of the year, doing it there. Uh, their pitcher, strange, their pitcher has good contact, that Bradwick guy, 83 batting average, 083 batting average on the year, so very surprised at his average. Not surprised, you know, kind of surprised he went 0 for 2 as well with such good contact. Uh, Taylor 1 for 5, okay, so our top of the order didn't really do it there, Taylor and Jada, 2 for 10 combined. But the middle of the order really took care of things there. Paige Stovlin, Monet, Raisa, Kendall. Kendall with a great sack bunt there. Uh, Izzy with the pinch hit didn't get to amount to what I wanted it to amount to. Jaro's pinch hit did. Uh, Julia coming in the game. Her first pinch hit, I think I swung at a crappy pitch. And then this one, or something, I can't remember. I can't remember what she did. And then uh, here coming through after they walked her. So, and she ends with a 400 average. I'll tell you what. She had around a 400 average in the regular season. I'll have to see what her actual average was, but that might be realistic to what it was right there. Beautiful. Um, wow. We're going to CCS. Kylie, not the best pitching performance. 1-0 for 2 here. Not the best pitching performance, but you know what? You've seen our pitchers blow it up worse, and she gave up four home runs. Kind of glad they were mostly solo shots. I think one was a two-run shot. I think all their runs came on homers. I think so. No, there was a base hit, remember, when I tried to throw home with Kendall. Uh, so all four home runs were solo home runs, and that is a testament, Kylie, to what you were able to do here. Uh, great. And our, our bullpen, you know, yeah, Tony wasn't great. You know, our, our bullpen did enough in whew, three innings of bullpen work, only gave up one run, and that was enough. Good work, ladies. And Raisa, there with the player of the game, honors well-deserved as it was well-rounded. And then Paige, Paige Stilvin getting there as well. You know, you want to give, like, hey, Julia, game ball, whatever. It, it wasn't a come-from-behind walk-off home run or anything like that, but it was, a, it was a Joe Carter special. You know, it was... We're celebrating. Uh, that, that, that was awesome. All right, a lot of... There were a lot of wrongs righted in that game compared to our last game of the regular season against Jefferson in real life. We got first place. Sorry, I'm too emotional right now. We got first place. Let's take a look at the standings. It's gross. I'm like sniffling. Um, let's, let's just, let's just, let's simulate to end of season to just finish off these other games here. But look at us. We're on the top. We're on the top. Judging close call, refreshing player, the four games left to simulate, measuring home run distance, recovering from ball what? Applying eccentricity, eccentricity, hiding motions, incrementing ego egotism. All right, so here, let's skip all. All right, so in our division, we claim for, in the league, we claim first. Best win-loss record, overdogs had the same, but we had a better run differential and we went one and one against each other. We are... You made it to the playoffs! Go Bearcats! You made it to the postseason! Pennant, Tennant! Oh, ladies, oh, especially seniors, I'm so sorry. You made it to the playoffs. Reliving this glory in a nice, good way. All right. <sighs> All right, so. We're gonna we're gonna play the blowfish again to start the playoffs. <laughs> but it looks like, but look at this. Everything resets. I don't see anyone juiced or any mojo whatsoever. Maybe I could have. Oh look, Izzy's not starting pitching this game suddenly. Now it's Jody. Um interesting here, I'm I'm not doing next game, but let's let's take a look. Yeah, no one's juiced or anything anymore. So I, I didn't know any of that there. Um They reset everything. We're not gonna see season stats with anything else everything's reset okay pretty interesting it might even hurt us more than help us because we always r rode players with a lot of mojo so we'll see how that is we're playing the blowfish again so we're not getting rid of them i might have faced a wanda uh when when we played them once i think i did so okay all right guys that ought to do it for this one if you've been watching all season long then you know even from the first video, not the first game, I had a first intro video and I talked about these ladies so much and they mean the world to me. They really do. They always have. And this is stupid that I'm crying, but um, 
uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit about this team so far. And hopefully we get to learn a little bit more. Every game from here on out could potentially be our last game. We have uh, quarterfinals, uh, something like that. Here, let's look at our bracket. We're, we play, I think, three, three games total here. So we play as many as three games left and as little as one. And however far we get, we get. But CCS was all that I needed, was, was all that I wanted here. So we're gonna play the Blowfish again, like I said. Then either Herbasaurs or Moonstars, and then any winners of anything there. Obviously, a lot of good teams all around. We've lost to some of these along the way. All right, that had, and uh, Overdogs. We might see the Overdogs in the uh, next matchup here. All right, so that ought to do it. For, no, I'm sorry. We're playing four games at most. Hang on, let's look at that. I thought I thought this meant that the two were at semifinals. I thought that meant just the last two teams. So four games, up to four games. So this isn't a quarterfinal. This is a. Well, I don't know. There's 16 teams. 16, then 8, then 4, then 2. Alright, so that ought to do it for this one, guys. This is Brandon Robinson with a uh, heavy yet lifted heart. Uh, very excited about things. So long. Take care. I'll see you in CCS. I'll see you in the playoffs, guys. Bye.